Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. A comprehensive research study conducted by the University of Tennessee and West Virginia University and funded by the Appalachian Regional Commission says that not only has the coal industry and its related industries suffered in coal's extended downturn, but industries not related to coal and even those outside of coal producing areas have also been put at risk. And while the research and data is new, it's nothing local economic development advocates haven't known about the coal downturn for years. A summary released by the University of Tennessee of the study, titled An Economic Analysis of the Appalachian Coal Industry Ecosystem, says the effects of coal's downturn have reached far beyond the industry itself. The summary also quotes researchers as saying that a diversified economy is needed to combat those effects. SOAR Executive Director Jared Arnett said the Appalachian region, particularly eastern Kentucky, is perennially lagging in having enough jobs for its workforce. 38 of the 54 counties that we work in are in the bottom 10 percent of the country economically. Uh, and they were that way before we lost the 12,000 jobs. So th this work that we're trying to do, uh, if you sit down and think about it, can, can become very overwhelming. It's very complex. Arnett said SOAR and similar organizations have been working for years to diversify the region's economy and have also been busy responding to the long-term effects of the downturn in coal. And we have to be mindful of the fact that even when it was strong, we still had a lot of poverty. So the work that we're doing has tremendous merit um, to, to create a future for the next generation of Appalachian Kentuckians. Arnett said the UTWVU study, the first comprehensive study of its kind, can lend additional data to the efforts of organizations like SOAR to help attract new industries to Appalachia. Arnett said the study does not appear to shed any surprising new data on Appalachia's coal producing regions, but he said it's good that there's comprehensive data supporting what many in the struggling coal fields already know. Some people could care less about data. They don't need to see, they, they just need to see that their neighbors struggling. We know problems there, but when you're talking about public policy or investments into the region, um, many of those audiences want to see numbers, and that gives us that information to, to be able to share that story. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.